Hey guys, what's going on? So recently there was the launch of the new electric bike systems from Bosch e-bike systems, of which I was invited to go to represent electricbikereview.com to give you guys the exclusive American perspective on the event and on the new products. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I'll give you a really brief background on the Bosch e-bike systems. If you'd like, there's actually a link in the description below if you want to check out uh, a previous video that we did for Electric Bike Review that covered the different existing motor systems um, that were already in the market as of today. Uh, the rest of this video is going to talk about the new systems that are coming out in the year 2020. Uh, so yeah, as a really brief overview, uh, the standard motor is called the Bosch Performance Line. That's kind of like the motor that came out in 2014 in the United States of America. It branched off into the Performance Line and then the Performance Line CX for mountain bike use and the Performance Line Speed, which is very similar to the standard Performance Line, but it has a higher top speed. After that, uh, Bosch came out with the Active Line of motors, the Active Line and the Active Line Plus. Now, these two, compared to the Performance Line, were smaller, lighter weight. Uh, they made less noise and they had a regular size chain ring. Uh, so I had more options in that realm. However, they were less powerful, so generally they were on systems that were meant for like exclusive flat city use, uh, things like that. Uh, so it wasn't a huge heavy hitter. Uh, but as of 2020, all the motor systems are getting shaken up a little bit and we have some new products to talk about. So yeah, let's do it. So let's start off with the Bosch Performance line. Now the regular Bosch Performance line is moving away from that old platform and is now going into the same size and shape uh, chassis that the Active line is using. So that means that you're getting all the benefits of the active line, that it's quieter, that it's a little bit smoother, it uses a different chain ring, uh, also no pedal resistance. You're getting all of those benefits, but you're keeping all the same benefits from the performance line, chiefly the higher output. So you're still getting 65 Newton meters worth of torque and 300% pedal assist, now in a smaller, better platform, uh, which is great. So that's a good innovation for their standard performance line that's coming out. But the really exciting stuff is actually their special use motors, which includes the Bosch Performance CX and the Bosch Performance Speed. So those two motors are moving away from their older platform into an even lighter, even smaller uh, system uh, that we're just going to call the 2020 uh, line of motors. Uh, so let's jump into those. First up in the 2020 lineup is the new Performance CX. It has the same mountain bike quality that you're used to, but it is physically better and now has more advanced programming. The reduced size and the magnesium casing reduce the weight by about a pound and a half. Now the system weighs at about 6.3 pounds. I'll talk about the programming in a bit, but it does assist up to 75 Newton meters and 340 percent assistance. Next is the performance speed, which is utilizing this new lightweight platform programmed for street riding of up to 28 miles an hour. The speed demon racks up 75 Newton meters and 340 percent of assist, but the programming is vastly different from the CX, meaning how it feels as you ride it. Next up is a totally new motor using that same 2020 chassis, and that is the Bosch cargo motor. You got it a cargo bike specific electric bike motor. This one actually has the highest output of all of 400% assist at 75 Newton meters, which is a lot. This little fire starter is rated for a total load of 550 pounds, a feat that I have never seen before on a bicycle. They've spent a lot of time detailing the programming so that it has a similar feeling whether the bike is loaded or unloaded. Finally, the last of the new motors is the cargo line speed. Now, as you guessed, this one has the same performance of the cargo line with 400% assist, 75 Newton meters of torque, but it has a higher top speed of 28 miles an hour. That kind of a system is probably gonna eat through a battery pretty quickly, but Bosch has you covered. I'll get into that in a second. New for 2020 is actually a couple of new battery systems. Now, if you remember in the past, Bosch came out with what they call the power tube, which is a 500 watt hour battery that's built into the tubing of the bicycle. It was pretty cool. You could combine one with another to get 1000 watt hours of total battery pack on a single bicycle. Now Bosch has some more options. They actually have a 625 watt hour version. You can combine two of those to get 1,250 watt hours if you so wanted to uh, on a single bike. Uh, but also they have a new option with a 400 watt hour battery pack in that same size, which is pretty cool because in my experience, Bosch has a really good amount of range for the amount of battery size that they have. And so having that really sleek option for a 400 watt hour battery pack is a really good choice. 
Also coming in 2020 is some new integration. So the Bosch Kiox display is actually a pretty cool little display, uh, but it has some nice features to it that it can now communicate with a, a digital shock. So I don't know a whole lot about this uh, because it's a very new tech and they just kind of announced it. They didn't have anything ready to ride at that time, but there is a new shock from Fox Performance Shocks uh, that has a varying amount of suspension to it uh, that is programmable by the user on the display. And that can also be set for a dynamic mode, which will adjust automatically. And like I said, it's a pretty new thing. I don't know a whole lot about it because they were just announcing that it will communicate with the shock. They didn't actually have a demo for the shock performance for us to try out and kind of experiment with. But nonetheless, that's something to look out for. Another cool feature uh, for the Bosch Performance Systems is actually integration with a locking mechanism. So of course you need a mechanical lock to physically lock your bike up to a rack. Uh, you know, that's never going to change. Uh, but what they do have is a disengagement feature for the electric system. Uh, so for a small additional cost of like 12 bucks or so, you can get uh, a, what they call a digital lock. It's a locking system in which when you remove the display from the bike and the Kiox display just comes off uh, really easy based on some magnets. When you remove the display, there is a disconnect within the motor that will not allow the motor system to engage until your exact display is connected to the bike once again. So theoretically, if someone took the bike away, um, then the motor system would be useless and therefore a large amount of the total value of the stolen property uh, would be diminished. So at the event I got the chance to try out the cargo motor and the cargo speed as well as a regular performance line. They were all a lot of fun but I didn't get to try them out to the same degree that I did for the mountain bike system, the new 2020 CX. Now that was a lot of fun. We actually got to go on a track that was close to one of the Bosch facilities Have this nice mountain bike course uh, right on the side of the hill and yeah we had a lot of fun. The new CX is better in, in a physical sense because it is smaller and lighter weight. They've cut the weight down by about 25 percent uh, on that motor coming in at 6.3 pounds. Now with that it's a big improvement because the previous systems were a little heavy and some of the competitors like the Shimano E8000 were used by a lot of mountain bike companies based on the physical size as well as integration. Uh, so this new system is great. Uh, it has that same power uh, that you've come to expect from the Performance Line CX in a very tight package. So what that does is makes the bike more nimble. You can maneuver the bike much, much easier based on the lightweight of the components. Uh, as well, it's putting out a lot of power, uh, which is really great because they've actually changed the programming up a little bit in a very important way. So on the Bosch motors, of course, when you turn it on on the display, it has a few levels of assist like eco, high power, turbo, that kind of thing. With the mountain bike systems, they've actually replaced the tour mode with what Bosch is calling EMTB mode. Now with this mode, it actually takes a lot of information from the many sensors in the system to actually adjust the amount of assistance as you're riding. Uh, it adjusts that based on your pedal power. How much effort you're putting into the pedals will dynamically adjust how much assistance you're getting out of the motor. So it actually changes based on your ride without having to goof with the system at all, without having to press buttons or anything like that. It's a really cool way to kind of let the bike uh, kind of even the road out the way that an electric bike is really kind of made to do. Uh, so of course, a mountain bike system such as this cannot compensate for the lack of skill and balance or weight distribution or pedal placement, but what it can do is actually help out in leg power. So that's one place where you know, a lot of mountain bikers, myself included, don't have a ton of leg power. And this helps to even things out. So you're not having to overextend in some places and fall short in the others. It kind of adjusts vari variably. Anyways, that has existed for the EMTB mode uh, up till now, uh, which is great. But they've actually changed things on the new CX motor. In the past, they had EMTB and then they had one more mode higher, which was called turbo. And turbo mode was just like road bike uh, programming, where it just threw maximum assistance out no matter what. In the new CX systems, they've actually changed it so that EMTB mode is dynamic and turbo mode is also dynamic. So it's kind of like you have a few levels of assistance for kind of road riding as if you're going to go to your mountain bike spot so you leave your house and go on the road and then when you get to EMTB mode that's when it gets really fun and dynamic and then you can switch it to turbo mode which is kind of like EMTB2 I guess <laughs> it ramps up all the assistance levels across the board on that EMTB mode for a very dynamic but also very powerful uh, riding experience 
And I got to see that. When I was riding the bikes on the course, there was a spot where we had stopped a few times to challenge ourselves going up this hill uh, with various amounts of momentum. Sometimes we'd come to the hill at a dead stop and then just try to jump over it. Sometimes we'd get some momentum, that kind of thing. Being really playful and trying to experiment and see what the system could do. And I gotta tell you that it really does work. It felt like the system was more matching what my leg power was doing instead of just throwing out all the power and kind of leaving me at a high cadence and having kind of like this bobbing uh, sort of effect. In a way, it kind of made me feel like the system was tailored for me, almost like a, a nice pair of running shoes. It felt like a passive feature rather than an active feature. And that's an important thing. Uh, one of my favorite mountain bikes to ride uh, had a lot of passive features on it. it. had a large front wheel, had a smaller back wheel, had a lot of really cool geometry things that you didn't have to fiddle with buttons or anything to kind of adjust. And as a result of that, I went on a mountain bike ride that was so fun because I was more in tune with the trail, with where I was. I was kind of letting go of the idea that I was attached to this vehicle because the features that existed, I didn't have to fiddle with. And the new programming in the Bosch uh, CX uh, for the 2020 lineup is exactly like that. It feels really good, helps you get out to see more and experience more because you're not as focused on the bicycle as a product or as a tool. One last thing that I wanted to talk about is actually the Bosch ABS system. So last year, Bosch made an anti-lock brake system for electric bicycles. Now, I was kind of skeptical when I first heard about it. I thought, you know, bicycle, it's lighter weight, two wheels, you know, was that really necessary? But I gotta tell you guys, I was converted wholeheartedly. I think this is an amazing system. So much so that while I was at the event, I actually took one of the bikes and rode around the grounds and I tried to convey uh, in video uh, how it feels. I think that's kind of one of the obstacles. The ABS system is not out in the United States as of yet, and it kind of got a mixed reception in Europe from what I understand. And I, again, I think that the video portrayal is one of the things, because it has a lot to do with feeling uh, how it feels as you're riding the bike. And like electric bikes in general, you really got to try it to completely understand it. Hopefully the video that I made kind of conveys uh, some of the excitement that I had for it because I do believe this is an amazing system and I really want to see it kind of go out further. So uh, you can find a link in the description below if you want to go check out that video uh, that I did on site for the ABS system. Uh, as well, you can go to the link to check out the forum for electricbikereview.com. Uh, over there, I'm going to have a write-up uh, on the event and some of the things that I saw and felt, uh, as well as some more pictures. Uh, so yeah, you can go there to participate if you want to ask a question or if you kind of want to hang out, that sort of thing. So I'm really excited to show these new innovations from Bosch e-bike systems. They've been a leader in tech for uh, electric bike systems, as far as I can tell, since 2014 when they came to the United States, and that still continues today even though they've actually been doing this for about 10 years now. Uh, so again, I'm really excited for that. I really welcome you guys to come to the forums and kind of hang out there for a while. Thanks for watching, guys. Ride safe.